Hey guys, so I'm back after a few months off and I have a new series of videos that I'm going to start uh, today and the idea with this new series is to show you the process from creating a game in scratch and creating exactly the same game in Unity using the bold visual scripting language. So the idea behind this uh, came a few years back when I was teaching kids how to use Unity and most of these kids I had kids from it was like a small class of kids they were between I don't know 8, 9 until up to like 13, 14 years old most of them uh, weren't scratch before not with me but some other uh, instructor and they were with me and I was trying to teach them Unity and when I say trying it was because it was really difficult for them to make the transition between uh, from scratch up to Unity it was expecting <laughs> it was expected of course because uh, we cannot compare scratch and unity unity is a professional game engine and scratch is a tool more like an education tool to have kids explore and create uh, stuff using uh, programming but at that time i thought that okay maybe we should have an easy way or an easier way to go from one program to the other because most kids are learning how to program using scratch and if they want to progress into a more complex game engine, you don't have a proper way of doing it. So we, you, it's really hard to go from block-based coding in Scratch up to C-sharp programming in Unity. And so at the time I thought, okay, maybe we should have a, a better way about doing this. Unity didn't have a Bolt yet, so Bolt was a third-party plugin, just like Playmaker. And at the time, I thought, okay, maybe we don't have a, an easy way to do this, so maybe I could, I can, I, I could create a visual scripting language for Unity that looked a lot, a lot like Scratch. That would, uh, my idea was that by using that language, it would be a lot easier for these kids. And I'm thinking kids, kids or adults. I mean, uh, unfortunately, I think that Scratch is not being used uh, with adults as much as it should because I think it's a really good uh, learning tool even for adults to start learning how to program and how to make little games but that's another topic sorry uh, so when I say kids no I'm not only talking about kids so for, for people coming from uh, scratch into unity I thought okay maybe I can create uh, my own block based language inside unity and so I started doing that at the time you can see here uh, this is what this was my uh, my project that I was designing and you can see that I would have blocks just like uh, Scratch with a more dark theme to the a more professional look, of course, instead of having like these bright colors, which gives it a more childish look. And I think this is because, uh, I'm just saying this because I think this is one of the reasons that um, adults and uh, even older kids are pushed away from Scratch because Scratch has that childish look and it had, if it had a, a more professional one maybe even older kids would think uh, that Scratch is a, a nice tool and an interesting tool to work. I'm just saying the, this is something that I think about. So I was designing this and you can see that I was following exactly the same thing that we have in Scratch. My idea was also to add uh, a few more concepts that Scratch doesn't have, like classes and custom methods and return types, stuff like that. You could create the variable, declare the variables here, and then use the variables throughout your code. And you can see that I had like everything sort here. So you had values, built-in classes, events, lifecycle events, user methods, the flow controls, variables, return methods, and stuff like that. So operators. So this was my idea at the time. So I started designing this. I even started implementing it. So I already had, um, I already have, not had, I still have that project where I could move a queue, like the code you can see here, like move uh, forward, back, left and right by using this block-based language. Now, why did I stop with this project? Because when I was developing this, uh, Unity bought both and made it their official programming, uh, visual programming language. And so at the time I was like, okay, yeah, Unity is buying Bolt and Bolt is becoming the official visual scripting language. Then probably most people that are going to start learning Unity are going to use their official language instead of using a, a third party plugin. Now I'm coming back to this idea and I'm revisiting the idea and saying maybe it's not that, uh, I'm not, it's not that sure that this is a bad idea to pursue but maybe i'll come back to it i'm not sure so this is just to show you okay this is where from the idea came from so i thought okay 
I want kids, I want to teach kids that are learning Scratch. I want to teach them how to use Unity, but in, a, in, in an easier way. I don't want them to go into Unity and start learning C-sharp right from the, the beginning, because that's quite a leap that's really hard for most kids to do. And I start creating this language, I abandoned the project, then I thought, okay, Unity has a bulk uh, visual scripting language, and now I thought, okay, let me check how easy it is to take all the knowledge that we have from scratch and to create the same thing and use that knowledge to create similar things in Unity using the bulk visual scripting language. And so this is the idea of this series of videos. So let me show you throughout the next video that I'm gonna publish, uh, the idea is to create this game that I have in Scratch right now. It's a really simple game, like a shooting gallery. So you have these targets that are moving, you can shoot the targets, you have ammo, a score, and a, a time limit, and the game ends when you run out of bullets or run out of time. Really simple game, but it touches a lot of concepts that are necessary when you are creating games. So we are talking about uh, user interaction, so in this case the mouse mouse clicks, we are talking about moving objects, the targets, we are talking about instantiating uh, objects, so which in Scratch they call it clones, so cloning objects, we have a spawner and stuff like that, we are talking about the win, winning condition, losing condition, so we have the basics to create a really simple game. So I've created this game in Scratch and just to just to, to tell you guys, I'm not going over the creation of this game throughout the series of videos because I have a whole other series about Scratch you, uh, where, I, where I've implemented Space Invaders in Scratch and I've documented the whole process from start to finish and I think it's really in-depth about how to use Scratch to create a whole game. So I'm not going to do that in these videos. In this video, what I'm going to do is taking this game and showing you guys how to create exactly the same game in Unity, but using only the bulk visual uh, scripting language. So you can see that I already have the game here, and it's more or less the same. I mean, it has some visuals that are not the same, but the, all the rest is the same. You press ready, you have the targets, you can shoot the targets, you have score, time, bullets, exactly the same thing as the other one. Now, the thing here is that everything that you see here was created only using scripts, uh, like a graph, they want to call it script, like visual scripts using the bold uh, visual scripting language. So you can see, for example, this is the game manager that I have. And right from the start, when you look at this, okay, you see like the complexity. So this is the game manager in Unity. And if you go into Scratch, this is the game manager in Scratch. So yeah, it looks a lot more complex, of course. I think that was to be expected. But after this was the first time that I used both, um, to be honest. And at first, I had some time, it took me some time to get around it. Uh, but I think it's really easy to work with. And my question here with this experiment is how easy it is to go from scratch into Unity. Of course, I don't have, I have a biased opinion because I know how to program it. So maybe it might be easier for me to pick up the concepts in Unity and I already know how to work with Unity as well. So because when you are talking about switching from Scratch into Unity, it's not only about the C-sharp. You also have to learn a whole new software, how to import sprites, how to create the scripts. In, in this case, Unity has scenes and has presets, has game objects, components. You have a lot of new concepts that you need to work. So like I was saying, my I thought it was quite easy to do this transition, but I'll also love to hear about you guys that already know how to work with Scratch and that are following these videos and uh, transferring that knowledge into, into Unity. I would love to hear, okay, how easy you think this is and if you think that this would be possible to do with uh, kids. If you think it would be feasible to, okay, take kids that learn how to use Scratch and already know how to use Scratch and to uh, start teaching them Unity using the bulk visual programming language. And so this is it, this is the idea and I'm just thinking if I'm missing something, but no. Yeah, I think so. This is what I'm going to do, be doing in the last and the, the next videos. So yeah, this is it. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you follow the, the following videos and that you give me feedback about this whole question. Okay, is it possible? This is the main question that I'm trying to 
to clear with this experiment? Is it possible to teach kids that learn how to use uh, Scratch? Is it possible to teach them how to use Unity in an easy way using the bulk visual programming language? That's the main question of this series. So I hope to hear from you guys as well. And thank you for watching.